Shalom. We're the brothers from uh, GMS West Palm Beach. But before we begin, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. All right, Yahweh is the name of Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be. Ba'en Ha'adha, Shalom name, Yahweh Shai, being the only God's son, meaning He deliver, He saves. Uh, Rakakwadash, Holy Spirit, man. Okay. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great most, and that were well, man. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all. Back at it again with no less of the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Mashai. Lord, one of those lessons edifying, man. You know, and uh, I'm with the beloved brother, Yawanathan, right now. All right. Shalom, Yahweh, Bashem, Mashai, Brock, and Thumb. That's right. That's right. So we was literally just leaving fellowship. Okay. And the brother, and it's crazy because, you know, the brother had another experience. Basically, what happened was we were just leaving fellowship. We was just, you know, having spiritual conversation, chopping it up. And brother peeped two cars behind us, you know, and he was like, damn, these two charges right behind me. Like, what's going on? And it was troll, you know, troll, a.k.a. the police, so on and so forth. And so we was like, hey, the Lord with us. Like, we good. You know what I mean? We was moving with faith, you know. And so basically, right when we made the left, they sped up right behind us. And, you know, I was telling the brother, like, you know, because we were in the left lane. So I was telling the brother, all right, go in the right lane, like, get out of their way. And they followed us in the right lane, shine the lights on us, you know what I'm saying? So through the spirit, the Lord, you know, the Lord had a set up where they pulled us over, man. You know what I mean? And when they pulled us over, <laughs> and what that scripture said, agree with that adversary quickly. That's right. Bible show, you can grab that real quick. Right. Yeah, because that's what you got to do. You got to apply that. You know, when you uh, are getting pulled over by the police. And we ain't going to make this too long, Lord willing. We just want to get to the point, you know. But I told the brother, hey, have the license ready. Have the registration ready. You know, have that all ready. Because by the time they get to the window, you know, that's 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 pretty much like a brownie points with the police, man. Because you, you, you're, uh, you're being compl compliant, you know. You got it out. Matthew chapter 5, verse 25. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him. Let's say any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge and the and the judge deliver thee to the officer and thou be cast into prison. That's right, man. And that's what that's the point. So we got to agree with our adversary quickly. So if the police pull you over, the best thing to do is pull over as soon as you can. All right. Uh, have your license your registration ready before they even get to the window. You know what I mean? And just be compliant. You know what I mean? Don't 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 be Mr. I know my rights and all that extra stuff. Just you know, show them respect, at, you know, and, and try to keep it, try to keep it peaceable, man, you know, but nonetheless, through the spirit, so make a long story short, you know, brother, you can speak on the ginger ale part, too. Uh, you know, you know, it's like the brother said, we just came from fellowship with the Akim, you know, brother's fellowship and instead of rejoicing, you know, and sometimes brothers drink, you know, uh, Kazak, you know, drink strong, you know, but through the spirit, I'm like, man, I'm about to take this ride back. The Lord put on my spirit and just put ginger ale in my cup. And as the police officer, you know, they trying to divest, ask questions, you know, ask me what's in my cup. And it was ginger ale, you know, so the Lord kind of like gearing us in our minds. It's like you, you think, you know, you try to figure out why you do something, but mm -hmm. it's the Lord putting it in your spirit. Like it says, hey, the Lord directed thy steps, man. That's right, brother. You know? Yeah, man. And that's the spirit too, because even before we went, Jake was trying to get some more, but it was done. You know what I mean? So I was like, hey, that's through the spirit, man. You know? And so make a long story short, right? Uh, they basically led to the point where they wanted to search the vehicle. So they, they pulled us out the car. First, they pulled the brother out of the car because the brother driving the whip. And so I was like, I asked the dude because it was two cops on each side. So I asked the dude, I said, um, do you want me to step up out the car? He was like, one second. And then he was like, all right, you can step up out the car. He's patting us down, searching us down. Then he tell us to come around the back. And while the, the cop, they pulled up another cop. He was driving in like a truck too, like a pickup truck. And so basically, they were telling us, oh, we've been getting a lot of crime in the neighborhoods and so on and so forth. So the reason why we pulled you over, you know, because of uh, some, some documentation issues or whatnot, you know what I mean? And so basically, uh, the while the cops was talking to us, all you heard was pop, pop. And then the, the, one of the cops was like, that's gunshots? And they was like, yeah, that's gunshots. He's like, sound like it came from over there. He pointed to the left side. Brother and I, we was thinking it came from the opposite direction that the cop was pointing in. But nonetheless, they was like, yeah, uh, they had to hurry up and pack their stuff and leave, man. Yep. 
you know, and that was really divine intervention. And see, I was talking to the brother. I was like, hey, them, they couldn't have been just uh, f fake gunshots that the angels made set off, man. Yeah. You know, just make them hear the noise of gunshots, you know, or it could have been real ones. But either way, the Lord used that situation to deliver us, man, That's right. because they was ready to search the whip. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, you know, hey, we was good either way. But nonetheless, the point being what they was ready to search the car, had us out the vehicle, patting us down. You know what I mean? They didn't even put us in cuffs to Wadi Abba Shemel Shai. But, hey, this just goes to show you, man, the main thing is we got to trust in the Lord, man. All right? The Lord is dealing with us. You got a scripture, brother? Con, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. You know, and that's that divine intervention, man. You know, the Lord going to create a standard against our enemy, man, our primary enemy being Esau Edom and he gonna come down like a flood of, uh, against the men of the Lord against the prophets man they just can't wait to put hands on, on you know on the men that's serving the Lord but the Lord gonna set up a standard against him man like the brother said man that could have been a hey, for all we know that was the angels man mm -hmm. you know the Lord is, is, is showing us now that hey, he's with us he's delivering us man <laughs> in these situations man Imagine if we didn't have the Lord with us, man. What could have transpired in that situation, man? man well, so, hey, in the times we're coming into, it ain't even going to be a thought, man. The Lord is programming our minds hey, to believe in him, man. Not to have no second thought. Uh, you know you know how you got plan A, B, C. Lord, <laughs> hey, hey, plan A. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, that's I was thinking spirit. that too. That's the spirit. The Lord is showing us plan A is the only plan, man. Yeah, yeah. Right now, man. So, that's right. Faith. Yeah. Faith. Faith, man. And so, make a long story short, brother, uh, I want to get this precept. This is uh, First Samuel 23, Bible Kishon. You can start at 25. Huh. Because basically, this is just like what happened. You know, he, you know, it was ready to... And it, these was jakes, too. The cops had a ski mask on and all that, man. You know, you would have thought it was niggas in, in, in a badge. You know what I mean? Go ahead, brother. First Samuel chapter 23, verse 25. Saul also and his men went to seek him. And they told David... Wherefore he came down into a rock and abode in the wilderness of my own. Mm -hmm. So, you know, through the spirit, Saul was trying to put David to death. He found out where David was and he went to seek him. Right. You got it, brother. And when Saul heard that, he per he pursued after David in the wilderness of my own. Mm -hmm. And Saul went on this side of the mountain and David and his men on that side of the mountain. And David made haste to get away for fear for Saul. Right, because Saul was trying to put him to death. You know, Saul had a whole army against King David trying to pursue him and put him to death wrongfully, man. You know, but what happened? Go ahead, brother. For Saul and his men compassed David and his men round about to take them. Yeah, and that's what it was. They basically compassed us round about. They was ready to take us over. They had us out the whip. They didn't have us in cuffs to Wadi Abba but they was ready to, uh, you know, Basically, search the whip. You got it up. But there came a messenger unto Saul, saying, Haste thee, and come, for the Philistines have, have invaded the land. Wherefore Saul returned from pursuing after David, and went against the Philistines. Wherefore they called the place Salaham... Hal Salaham... Hamal... Hamalekoth. Salahamalekoth. Come you know, but that's the point, brother. That's beautiful because that's exactly what happened. You know, he heard a messenger tell him the Philistines came upon the land. So Saul had to uh, basically retreat from pursuing after King David to, to go back to defend the land of Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what happened with us because there was coming down on us. They had us compassed about, right? Literally. And next thing you know, you heard the gunshots pop, pop. And they was like, gunshots, gunshots. Okay, we like they just packed up their shit and they left, man. Right. The cop talking about some look for speeding cars, like giving the niggas tips before they went to go find who was shooting the gun. They said, look for speeding cars, this, that, and the third, man. You know? So that's the same thing. And that was divine intervention. And notice how it says Saul heard a messenger. Hey, angels are known as messengers, man. That could have been an angel make them hear them sounds, man. man. Just to come up off of us. That's right, brother. You know, you got anything else, brother? Uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 10. Come. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? 
or whom did he ever despise that called upon him mm -hmm. in those times that we praying to the Lord in our minds like, hey, Lord, deliver us, you know, remember us, be with us. And that just further backs up this precept, man. So just imagine in the times we're coming into, but we got to remember to keep our faith. That's why it says, look at the generations of old, the men before us, hey, the great men before us, forgive me. They kept their faith, man, especially in, in the time of their affliction. Verse 11, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgive the sins, and save it in time of affliction. You see, and save it in time of affliction, man. You know, it, 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 that's a time, especially especially being in Babylon, pursuing after Esau, and that, and your soul could be c conflicted. Because mm -hmm. you don't never know. You know, we pray the Lord be with us, but you never know dealing with these damn policemen, man. Hey, what's the scripture say in Deuteronomy 28? That life shall hang in doubt, man. Right, right. And our life be hanging in doubt, especially when you see them red and blue lights behind you, man. Yeah. Hey, but the Lord be with us, man. The Lord hears our prayers and, and hear our cries, man. That's right, brother. Come. I got a quick scripture to back you up. But, uh, second, Ezra 16, starting at verse 74. You know, because this is, you know, the Lord with us, man. Lord with us. Second chapter 16, starting at verse 74. Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Yeah, man. So the Lord letting us know tribulation is coming, but he's going to deliver us from these times. Go ahead, Ot. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. And the God of them who keep my precepts, slack it. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord, Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. That's it, man. Straight to the point. Be not afraid, neither doubt, man. The Lord is our God. The Lord with us, man. Call Lahim Lahim Yahweh Bashem al Shai. I got this precept right here. Our brothers, you know, sent this precept to us. This is Psalms 27 and 1, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, and whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me, and this will I be confident, man. And that's the type of spirit the Lord had on us, man. You know, they, they them jakes, they was putting the lights on us. You know, you could tell. You could feel the energy, man. It was like they was ready to do whatever had to be done. Because you got to keep in mind, they've been having a, a increase in crime rate. But that's part of the signs of the times. Love of many is waxing cold, right? Because right. iniquity is abounding. So, you know, I heard old oh boy, because at one point I just stretched my legs. Because I'm like, I'm not going to sit tense and stiff. Like the Lord with us, we don't got to be afraid, you know. And I, of course, move with wisdom. But nonetheless, dude, I heard him like basically uh, release the strap of his, uh, of his, uh, of his gun, you know what I'm saying? So they was supposed to show you, man, they was ready, man. You know, but brother, I need a, another scripture, Bible shot, real quick. Uh, 2 Kings 19 and 7. All right, because the king of Assyria wanted to come up against Israel. All right, but them trying to come up against Israel, there's a similar situation what happened with King Saul, man. It's the book of 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 7. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear a rumor... And shall return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. And that's exactly what happened, man. He heard that rumor, and that made him want to go back to his own land. <laughs> and guess what? His own sons ended up putting him to death. Okay? So the point being, you know, just like how them, them cops came up upon us, they heard them gunshots, you know, and, and then it was a whole different story, man. You know what I'm saying? It was a whole different story. They went back and they returned from pursuing after us, man. Brachat the Yabash Mashah. Got this last precept, brother. You can get this Psalms 105, Baba Kasha. In verse 14. You know? And it's a spirit because right when I was looking for this scripture about the rumor, the song that was playing in the car, it mentioned the word rumor. You know? So it was spiritual uh, synchronicity, man. All right? Psalms, Synchronization. Psalms 105 and 19. Uh, 14, Baba Kasha. This book of Psalms, chapter 105, verse 14. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yeah, he reproved king, saying, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. That's right, man. And, and through the spirit, you know, we was talking about it earlier, right? Before the brother sent us the scripture, we was talking about it earlier. We, we was like, man, we are the prophets, man. Um, 
We are the prophecy of Abba Shai, Abba Rajazah, Father willing. You know, we say that with humility. But the point being what, man? The Lord is showing us that he with us, man. You know? The Lord is showing us he with us, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's the point on that right there, man. He suffered no man to do us wrong, man. The Lord willing to reprove kings for our sakes, man. That's right. Look at what the Lord did with, with, with Pharaoh. Come. Okay? You know? Destroyed that whole rulership for the children of Israel. That's right. And Egypt was a soaring at that time, man. That's right. You know, people still, hey, when you think about it, the pyramids are still up to this day. Hey, you know? Gone. Gone, brother. Hey, that's the point, man. The point has been made through spirit. You know, you want anything else to say before we go, brother? I said, man, the Lord with us, man. We've got to keep fighting, keep believing until the end, man. That's right, man. So, our eyes out lesson was edifying, brothers. You know, keep the faith, man. Don't lose hope in the side of adversity, man. All right, even when our backs are against the wall, no matter what, strive for the truth unto death, man, and the Lord shall fight for thee. That's right. You know, and our faith will be tested. Our faith will be tried, man. All right? The scriptures ain't written for no reason. What the scriptures say? Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth he out of them all, man. That's right. Okay? So that's the point of that right there. Psalms 34 and 7. The angels of the Lord encamp around about them that fear him and deliver of them, man. That's right. So we got to keep fearing the Lord in order to be delivered, man. But that's the point. All right. Abba Radazar's lesson was edifying. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shum, Yahweh Shai, by Shem Akakwadash. Double honesty, others, apostles, great Muslims, never well. Peace and blessings, elect to Israel. Shalom, and above all. Shalom, above all. Kwame Yashalom.